Hey guys, how's it going? So, let's talk about Casper Sleep. So, Casper Sleep uh, got skyrocketed today because of an analyst, a uh, web bush an analyst, the guy that is uh, Michael Pacta. He, you know, he's part of, like, he's, Michael Pacta is part of this web bush security analyst. Um, I don't know, yeah, it's not Michael Pacta, it's somebody in the web bush security he was talking he came out with an an uh with a bullish target of ten dollars and the stock skyrocketed today um i saw this stock in the morning i was actually looking at this over the uh over the weekend i i i, I ran across a video over the weekend for this and i was thinking of buying some because it had such a low market cap and then this morning it got upgraded and I was you know I pulled the trigger I bought in right in the morning and I'm so glad I did because I bought it under eight dollars I don't know the exact price like 790 or something like that I, I can't remember and now I'm rewarded because the stock is up at nine dollars and forty four cents um, you know from a market perspective, it looks it looks kind of cheap. It has a three hundred and seventy sixty seven million dollar market cap, and it has it makes a total revenue of four hundred and ninety seven million dollars. Yes, they're not profitable right now, but according to my research, they expect to be profitable in the back half of twenty twenty one, and they can they expect for revenue to continue to grow, and uh. So, you know, and they have an extremely share, uh, tight share structure of only 40.55 million, and they have a float of uh, 22.33 million. Um, could they be the next GameStop? I don't know. I mean, they don't have a huge short position. There's no point for somebody to come in and try to squeeze the shorts out because there's like hardly any of a short position. But they do have an extremely low float, and GameStop has much bigger float than them, right? They have a 70 million float versus them having a 20 mil, 22.33 million float uh, with outstanding shares of 40.55 million. And so, yeah, the stock can easily be manipulated to the upside uh, by retail investors and big money. Uh, but. Uh, Will they do it? I don't know, but I know for one thing for sure is everybody needs a bed and I do have shares in this stock and if this thing goes to $20, I will buy a bed from Casper Sleep. I promise you guys that if this thing goes to $20, I will buy myself a Casper Sleep. So we'll see what happens, but uh, $20 is not a far-fetched uh, analysis. It actually support was supposed to IPO at twenty dollars and it was supposed to be a billion dollar company but uh, on the day of IPO it kind of it kind of it, it kind of crashed so it was like it IPO'd it crashed and then it continued to crash and it continued to crash all the way down to three dollars and eighteen cents over the course of a few months it recovered back to around nine bucks and then it was just kind of trading sideways, went down to six dollars, skyrocketed back to ten, and went all the way down to seven dollars. Got upgraded by Web Busher, and the stock skyrocketed on very huge volume. So I don't know if this will continue for tomorrow. It really it depends on uh, big money and day traders. Uh, I don't know if day trade uh, day traders are just in it for a quick uh, return on investment, but uh, you know, it, it's really it really up it's really up to big money in day trading. But from a charting perspective, it looks bullish. So I mean, it broke the 50-day moving average. It broke the middle of the Bollinger Band. There will be if this stock can stay and maintain at nine dollars. Eventually, it'll have a golden cross. Or if this stock can continue to run up to ten, eleven dollars, definitely a golden cross coming here soon. Uh, even if there's a ten-dollar price tag, sometimes it can get pushed way above that, and this stock can 
you know, maybe even break 50 new, uh, it, like this stock could do new 52 week highs in a short amount of time. Uh, but I don't know at the end of the day, if it keeps getting upgraded by different banks, then yeah, I think this thing could totally do new 52 week high. Um, so, and then uh, Jim Cramer, a year ago, he made a video about uh, Chris, uh, Crisper Sleep, and he, Casper Sleep, sorry, and he likes the mattresses. He likes sleeping on the mattresses. He thinks that, he's like, he's like I'm not really a sleep person. But I really like this mattress. It really makes me sleep well. And then uh, also uh, HyperChange also likes the mattress too. So if a big big name like you know me Kevin or uh, Jeremy, they're like, oh, I really like this mattress. I'm buying this stock. You know, you never know, right? This stock can easily go to like ten, eleven, twelve dollars. So. I don't know at the end of the day, but this company needs. This company will be flipping a profit. It's a growth company, and if we just look at their financials over and annually, it went from, you know, two hundred and fifty million dollars, three hundred and fifty million dollars, four hundred and thirty-nine million dollars, four hundred and ninety-seven million dollars, and I think eventually it will go to a billion dollars. It it might take. I mean, I'm thinking that twenty twenty-one will be somewhere around like. 600 million dollars so it is a growth play story they make more money than the entire market cap right now which is 368 million um yeah i mean i definitely keep an eye on it it's easily a good tradable stock because it's so volatile but uh if it will be a next game stop who really knows at the end of the day right i i want to believe that it could be a next game stop but it's really it really up it's really up to the market it's not up to me I just you know I think it could be a winner I'm gonna hold on to it just in case it's a winner don't really know at the end of the day right can uh you know it's a mattress company there's a lot of mattresses but there's also Tesla right Tesla there's a lot there's a Tesla as a car company there's a lot of car companies and Tesla is the most valuable car company in the world right now so could Casper be the most valuable mattress company in the world eventually? Maybe. I don't know. It's really, it really depends on the marketing. I mean, the, the market, you know. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, AABB. Um, just kind of trading sideways right now. Tesla, like I remember, the Tesla story. Um, you know, Tesla is the most valuable car companies in the world. And there's a lot of cars. Everybody needs a bed. Everybody needs a bed, and I think they have one of the highest quality beds in in the world right now. Like Tesla has the most high quality cars cars in the world right now. So, yeah, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is up right now, four thousand dollars, seven point nine eight percent. That's crazy. Uh, Hut mining is seventy up seventy cents right now. Funware is up. 6.04 cents yes i'm happy to see fun up i'm i'm a i'm a shareholder uh big digital asset is uh up 25 cents ethereum is up 7.34 percent uh not too much to say about this anyways uh that is it for my video thanks for watching subscribe for future updates and have a great day bye